Hi friends, I am Uncle Chaudhary. Glad to meet you again. This time I am come with a new project, how to call through an Android phone. It is very simple project, but we have to take from the basic. First we create the calling logic and then we will move further for the, the advanced version of this project. In the calling function, we have to require the XML for the layout and the Java for the coding. Let's start with our project. Here is our Eclipse on. In Eclipse, we will do the Android coding over here. From the file, we just create a new Android project. Let us the name of the uh, project is phone call. Phone call. In next version, we have to work on 2.2 version over here. We have to give the package name that is com dot ank. After that, we finish the project. The project should be come in our file explorer. Let's check whether it is coming or not. Here our project is phone calling over here. Now first in the source file we have to work with the phone call activity that is on the Java. But before this we have to create the layout. Whenever we want to create the layout we have to think in our mind that what type of layout we have to create. In a calling function we require a edit text where we enter the number and a button. After clicking that button, the calling activity should be performed. Let's create a edit text over here. It is very easy to create the edit text. We have to just write the edit text. Give its height. Let's take the height as web content. In web content, we take only that part where we have to write. In the width, we take the fill parent. In fill parent, we complete the whole of the screen as their width over there. Then we take the ID of the project so that its edit text ID should connect with the Java and we have to use the functionality whatever the text given by the whatever the text given by the user he can implement on the Java coding. Now we use the button over here. In the button we will apply the same process for the height. We take the height as web content and for the width this time we will take the width also as the web content so that only a limited area of our screen should be covered by the button. We create the id for the button. Let us the id of the button is pt and then we create a text. In text whatever we have want to write on the button we will write. So we want to write the call so in the android text we given the call over here. So pt is the id of the button and ed is the id of the edit text. Now we just save our project and then clean the project so that the every part till now we have done should be clean over here should be saved properly let's see the graphical layout in graphical layout there is a edit text where we have to enter the number and there is a call button in, in call button after clicking this call button the calling activity should be performed so let's use the coding of the java in java we implement the on the coding on phone call activity dot java here it is our program it is our class name phone call activity and here we will extend it from the activity class activity is the super class of the android in which all the functions all the methods of the activity should be used so this is on create is the first method of the activity class through which we can create a new new activity and it will tell about the dvm delvi virtual machine that the activity should be created this is set content view art dot layout dot main. It will give the path of the main layout where we create our edit text and the button. Before working in the this, we have to just read out the edit text and the button over here. Let's take the global as the edit text over here. Edit text, edit text, ed, and button. Button. This is the, the virtual ID. We can take any ID ED, instead of ED and BT. Now in the next step, we will read out the edit text over here. ED equals to edit text. Find view by ID. R dot ID dot whatever the ID we have given for the edit text. So in the XML that is ED, we just read out over here. Then similar process we will apply for the button and bt equals to find view by id r dot id id dot bt 
now we read out both these over here edit text and the button now we implement the function now whatever the function we have to implement that should be performed after clicking the button so we implement bt dot set on click listener listener new we on click listener we will create a different class over here for the the button that is on click listener import the super class of the click listener over here and then for calling we have defined the predefined intent so we use that predefined intent that is action call over here this intent intent it is the object of the intent equals to new new intent and here we have to describe the predefined intent that is intent dot action call we just find the action call over here it is here in this it object of the intent class we define the predefined intent action call over now we have to define the text for the intent where this action call should be performed so that text we will get from the edit text over here so we use it dot set data dot set data so we have to implement this calling something out so we use the uri over here uri dot parse and in string we will first use the tell it is the it's tell that the calling function should be performed and then we get the number we get the number from the editor's ed dot get the number from the edit text that is ed dot get text ed dot get text to string everything in the android we take into the form of the string so that we have to print over there just like we have used in the applets so we start this activity now start activity the object of the intent is it here our coding for the calling function is completed for before calling we have to give the permission for this action call for the permission we have to go to into the android manifest.xml file here we go in the permission add the user's permission over here then browse for the permission of the calling let's find where is the calling here it is call form just give the permission save our project then click clean it clean it now we, so let's see whether it is working on emulator properly or not this is our emulator which resembles the real device let's see whether the, our calling function should be performed properly over here or not it will take so much time it is not as fast as the real device but it will work it will totally resemble the real device so we call it as the emulator or delvic virtual machine here our here our project should be open in the emulator here is the edit text where we have to enter the number and here is the calling function let's give the any number that should be triple nine seven four one eight nine eight eight. This is my number. If you want to contact, you can contact easily here. It's calling function. Let's wait some time. This is our calling should be performed. Similarly, in our real device, when we send the APK file to the real device, it will perform similarly as it is over here. Thank you. I hope this project should easily be understood to you. It is very easy project in the Android. Android. Thank you very much.